Hello, my name is Candice and I'm here with Dwayne and we're with the 2016 PR Projects. Yes, today we're sitting here with the cast of Ringside, the newest film on TV One. Today we have Russ Parr, Tyler Lefley, Alan Maldonado, and Jackie Long. Thanks for joining us, guys. How y'all doing? Doing Fine, good. Thank good, thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> no, I don't need the mic. All right. So my first question is going to be for Russ. So we followed your career as a DJ and an actor, and now we see you're the writer, producer, and director of Ringside. So what is it like to be behind the scenes now? Well, I think the, uh, the big thing is I always realized that I wasn't a very good actor. And so I love being behind the camera. It really challenges me creatively in a different way as, a part, as opposed to performing in front of the uh, uh, camera. Um, you know, I've been writing for like ever, and I never had enough faith in my stuff to decide to do anything about it. And I think about 10, 12 years ago, I decided to jump out on a leaf of faith and, and um, try to raise some money to do a screenplay. And, and it did okay. So I said, okay, I, I think I can do this. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually degreed in film from uh, Cal State Northridge in uh, the Los Angeles area. Um, but, you know, radio paid the bills, you know, so it's, you, you have a little problem every once in a while because people try to put you in a box. They think, okay, that's all he does. He just does radio. But I, I do everything, you know. I, I sell drugs. I babysit. I mow lawns. <laughs> I do it all. So. Well, so I have a question for each of you. If you guys want to answer from left to right, uh, my first question would be, like, how, what, what drove you to your roles, and how did you prepare for them, for the movie? Well, Russ Parr kept calling me, getting on my nerves. He said, left to right. No, she, that's this. She said, that ain't the, that's the far left. Well, you go. No, did, t Tyler go first. Oh, Tyler go. I didn't okay. know what order. I don't know. <laughs> my bad, sorry. I, I, I was with you. I don't, I don't even know. This is left to right. Oh, y'all know left to right now. You, okay, you know, all right. Honestly, what drove me to, uh, to play in this role was the complexity of it. It's a very dynamic character. And as I get deeper and deeper, you know, working on my acting chops, I don't like things to be boring, really, really in all aspects of my life, but for, uh, especially in my work. You know, so someone who has to balance being that caregiver for his family um, and, and mixing it with everything he has to do to keep himself right as that caregiver he was thrust into, really as he goes into the, the, the fight of his life, right? There's a lot of things. It's a, it's a life-altering fight. So everything that this character has to go through from, from start to finish and really hit that arc, the complexities of it drove it to me because it pushed me as an actor. Well, I played the, uh, the champ, Spencer Collier. Um, he's, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I like to feel, feel like I'm the champ in life. So that really uh, gravitated me to the role. But um, being a boxer uh, for five years and uh, when I saw the breakdown for the role, I, I got my team on it immediately. I was like, I want to be a part of this boxing film. Uh, anything to involve my, uh, my love of acting and my love of boxing and combine them two together uh, was, you know, was a dream come true. Okay. Um, I definitely took the role because it was something different for me. People know me for always doing comedy. And Russ Parr came to me and said, Jackie, you got to you gotta start opening up your, 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 your talent. You know what I'm saying? And he always comes to me with roles, even if I don't do it or if I do do it. But most of the time, Russ Parr always gives me roles that's different from comedy for me, that's real dramatic to let people see my real talent. So when he told me that, that was one of the main reasons why I actually took the job, you know. And he's just a, a good, good director to me. He's like a good friend to me. So he's going to say something right now and, and cut no, me off. I, I was going to say the other reason you took the job is because you needed some money. See, see. You know, don't yeah, see. Yeah, rent, rent, rent was due. Oh, see. I took the job. Rent was due. See. You were broke. <laughs> you asked me to go cop you a nickel the other day. I'm like, come on, man. I'll get you the money later. That's crap. <laughs> like, like I said, as Keep you can see. Keep it real, man. Just keep 100, man. As you can see, the chemistry that we got, I love this man because he always gives me opportunities that, other people don't give me and he brings them to life and I'm, I'm glad I'm able to do you know what he what he offers me you know and do it so that's Let's definitely have all these reason. people in the lobby to keep it down y'all keep it down for a second please thank you Timmy Timmy right, Timmy Tana so for both Alan and Tyler you kind of play the antagonist and protagonist of the film so how did you prepare for a role as a boxer for each of your characters uh, like, like I said before like I'm um, 
I mean, me and Tyler have a, a background in boxing, so us, as far as, like, the fighting and, and getting prepared for that, that just kind of came easy to us. Uh, we trained with um, Leon uh, at, uh, what, was it, what, was it, what was it? Leon Azubike. As a, uh, yeah, as a, at the last name. I be always tripping off the last name. Nigerian um, uh, professional boxer. He got us in the ring. He gave us some uh, cho- uh, choreography. And uh, we just, just like to fish the water. We just dove right in. And um, it was, that was the easy part, man, as far as just building a character as an actor. Um, just doing research. Uh, you know, Floyd Mayweathers and the Mike Tysons, uh, the Roy Joneses, all of those guys that Jackie were over. Yeah, yeah, the Jackie Lawns. He knock them out. What are you? What are you? Seven and zero right now. <laughs> seven and zero on the block. Um, but, uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, all that stuff was pretty easy for us. You know what? To to elaborate on it is like, you know, we both have backgrounds in boxing, <clears throat> so to, to be able to get into a ring and throw a punch was easy for both Alan and I. So I think where we really turned the notch up was, you know, going in there all the time, not to know how to turn the punch over or play defense but really to get the true physicality of the fighter. Because it's not just in the ring that the fighter is the fighter. Even when you see him at home, they walk a certain type of way, they, they deal with certain issues a certain type of way. So to get the true physicality and like the psychology of the boxer down is, is what I really think helped turn everything up to the max, to add to that. So my question's for Jackie. Um, so I know you mentioned the difference between the comedy roles that you've been playing and this one. What's kind of been the key difference or the key factor in like your transition from you know playing roles that are more comedy based versus now? Um, I look at every role that I get as a challenge because I always love a challenge, and comedies to me isn't a challenge. So when I get a chance to do a dramatic role, it's like. I want to go beyond deep and go into this character. You know what I'm saying? Russ Parr is over there once again. You know what I'm saying? He's an ass, but I'm not going to say that. But um, I, don't, I, I look at it as a challenge, I, and I don't look at it as a challenge because I know deep down what I can really do. It's just the world doesn't know. Sometimes. But which is it? It's, I mean, you're up here doing some Donald Trump stuff. I look at it as a challenge, but it's not a challenge. Pick one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Listen. Can I, do, do, did she ask you the question or did she ask? My bad, my bad, but it's a good question. Go ahead, my bad. Okay. See, now you make me mess up and, and, and mess up my, my question when I was, when I was flowing. Um, yeah, so my answer is I like dramatic more than I like comedy. You know what to elaborate on that a little bit? It's like, you know, I've, I watched ATL like everybody else. I've seen Jackie Long, you know, be a great, be a, a great comedic actor, right? So we all know that he's set up funny. It's like what I was blown away by is like not only did he bring the dramatic side to this, just based upon the nature of it, it's one-on-one fighting, stakes are high. I go in there, I get knocked out, people get killed in that ring, right? So it's like, you know, it raised the stakes, so it made his dramatic side come out. So it's not, I don't think he lost the comedy, but it's just like he broadened his comedic uh, ability, if you will. It's not really set up comedy, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of dark comedy, there's a lot of dry comedy. It's just like a different side of it also. So I really think that he expanded his chops as an actor. Not just dramatically, but even the comedy. Appreciate that, Tyler. The, you know Appreciate that. No, that's real. That's real. I, I was trying to say all that, but Russ, <laughs> it's, 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 I, I like agree. to tell the story I, I before I get to it. I'm with I like Tyler. The story. I think you're wonderful. Yeah, that's all. Thank okay. you too, Russ. And so another Thank question you. for all of you all, including Russ, what was it like working with such a talented crew and cast, including those not here for the interviews? So like Charlemagne and Seven and Julissa. Well, we had um, a Seven Streeter, who is a uh, singer-songwriter, and this was her very first acting role. And she did very, very well. Um, I think she did. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Rainy Branch and, uh, God, who else? Uh, who was it? Kwame, my boy Kwame. Kwame, yep. yeah. yeah. My boy Kwame. Just what, what we tried to do is we tried to bring, you know, fresh faces. I mean, these guys are seasoned actors. But I wanted to bring fresh faces um, to the screen because I think, we see, and no disrespect for those other actors, but we see the same people in the same roles all the time. And I really, really commend TV One for saying, you know what? We can brand, we can brand our own people. We can bring our own people. I mean, of course, you know, you see Tyler on own with have and have nots, and you see, uh, you know, um, Alan. He's, you know, uh, survivor's remorse, and Shit, Alan got and, everything. And, yeah, blackish and. You see Jackie uh, working at Home Depot on Sundays. 
Um, but I wanted to. Real husband's a Hollywood. Shout out. We see you, Jackie. I wanted to uh, just get something new, a new flavor. And I think if you watch this movie, you'll see that. I hate Russ Parr. I know. I really hate that guy sometimes. Okay. Go ahead. We really have a loving environment, as you can see. Is that Home Depot? Why not Taco Bell, Russ? I like Taco Bell. My bad. Ah, man. So, do y'all have any final thoughts you want to share? Any final thoughts? I, I just want to thank you guys for taking the opportunity to interview us today. And uh, I really appreciate it. I hope y'all come see the movie because Ringside uh, 7 is definitely a great movie. Upstairs. And September 4th, we will be out. What? September 4th. On TV1. September 4th. September 4th. Represent. TV1, 7 p.m. I'm going to say it again. September 4th. We're going to. We gonna, 7 p.m. We got an encore at 9 p.m. And really to leave you with this, it's like with a, with a title like Ringside, it's obviously about boxing. But it's, it's about something much more deeper than that. And I think even if you're a boxing fan or you're not a boxing fan, there will be aspects you'll be able to pick on that you'll be able to empathize with. And, so I, even, and I think the big thing is, is that there isn't a lot of, you know, series that are on television that, that really dwells in the boxing and the behind the scenes. You know, because I wanted to do something different. His character, he's, he's the lead character. He has a master's degree, and there's no reason in a role that he really needs to fight. But I just wanted to bring a different dynamic. You know, when I wrote it, we were trying to figure out how can we make him more than some dude growing up in the streets, you know, beating everybody up. So I just wanted to do the unexpected. And I think, hopefully, I think people will really like this movie. And I hope everybody watches it on September 4th on TV1. Yep, Represent. Yep, yep. So once again, thank you. Matter of fact, us. everybody in the lobby, I yeah. make sure y'all come to the screen tonight. Yeah, tonight, yes, seven o'clock. Tonight, everybody in the lobby, I see you over there in the red dress. I see you turn your head. I see you. Yeah. Your hair, your hair is whipped right. You ready for the premiere? You better bring yes. yourself. Bring yourself to the premiere tonight. Yeah. Ringside. Free wine. You coming? If not, free tune in. wine. September fourth. 7 p.m. TV. Where's it located at? Third floor. Thurgood Marshall. At the third, at, at Marshall's? Thurgood third Marshall. Marshall. Yeah. Be there. Be square. I see you going up the escalator. Come tonight, 7 yeah. p.m. Yeah, I see you with your hand up. There you go with your braids, with your cute self. All right, let's go. And we'll be, uh, uh, we'll be doing a raffle. Uh, who gets to um, get a, a full on uh, a front, front, frontal kiss with um, Tyler? Here come the jokes, right? No, no. I, I just say, hey, listen, I'm just trying to hook you up. <laughs> hey, we going to, yeah. That'll work. That'll that was work. A fine print of my contract. Drive him with a date with Tyler. That'll work. Better pack it out. All right. Thank you, guys. You Appreciate guys, it. Appreciate it. Thank you.